So you've been training to Austin X for a while now and you wonder what's the next step to unlock the muscle up. And you have probably seen a lot of different variation on social media which can make it a little bit complicated to decide which one you should learn first. In this video I'm going to show you the different type of muscle up and also which variation you should decide to get started first depending on your goals. The first one is the keeping muscle up where we use much of a torso extension to generate momentum on the way up. This technique can also be exaggerated as seen in freestyle calisthenics and gymnastics which looks even more powerful and allow you to generate more momentum without using too much brute strength. If you are someone that wants to learn freestyle then this is the muscle up you might want to focus on which required more technique and explosion than strength itself. The second one is the slow muscle up, which is one of the hardest variation for most athletes. This one really rely on strength, technique and also the false grip. If you are someone that already mastered the muscle up and looks for a great challenge, then this one might be interesting for you. Otherwise, it is not suggested for beginners to stick to this variation when getting started, since this variation is way more harmful on the joints, on the shoulders and the elbows than the other variation. And the third one is the normal calisthenics muscle up where we use a bit of momentum on the way up and down but still maintain a clean form that looks like a mix of explosion and strength while mixed and controlled together. This is the best variation to get started with in my opinion because it is somewhere in the middle of the other two variations we just went through and it allow yourself to step into both of these in the future with a technique that can be transferred into one or another if wanted. Don't get misled by some athletes or just by looking at pros and thinking that a slow muscle up is a clean muscle up because it's actually just a harder variation that required way more strength than a normal muscle up. If you're just getting started with the muscle up, you want to take it easy on your joints so using a bit of momentum won't be considered a cheat as long as you're not cheating the old technique itself. And also if you're only having the dynamic muscle up, it might not be considered a clean muscle up because you're only relying on explosion and transfer of your own body weight than having the general amount of strength required to unlock a muscle up. The requirement to get started with the muscle up is to be able to do 5 to 10 clean pull up and eventually work on a full range of motion all the way up to your chest. This will allow you to skip the hardest part of the muscle up which is the transition and get over the bar more easily at the beginning and put less loads on your joint. Also being able to do 10 to 15 straight bar dips all the way down to your chest is going to be another advantage to make sure that you're going to be able to push yourself all the way up when you're on top of the bar. One of the best techniques to understand how to muscle up is to understand the pattern of the movement around the bar. Most of the people think that doing a muscle up is simply doing a pull up and a dip while going up and down. Well actually you want to go around the bar to allow yourself to get on top of it. Otherwise you're gonna be blocked by the bar over your head. The false grip is just a different way you grip the bar and that's gonna allow yourself to already be in a straight bar dip position without having to do the transition after your pull up. So that means that when you're gonna pull yourself up and go into a straight bar dip, well, you won't have to switch your hand grips, which most of the time makes the muscle up way much harder and also makes you lose a lot of grip strength. So being able to do some false grip pull up will eventually help you to not only get more range of motion, but also be ready to do a straight bar dip the second you're gonna be on top of the bar and avoid doing the transition that can block yourself in the middle. The false grip is not only used for the muscle up but also for other different skills like the front lever which is going to also make the lever of your front lever a little bit shorter which can make it also easier. Not only that, if you're looking to do some front lever pull up, it's also going to be something very useful to learn and make sure that you master to take your calisthenics journey to the next level in the future. One of the biggest mistakes also a lot of people are doing when trying to learn the muscle up is by applying the wrong pull up technique. As you might already know there's different variation of pull up which are going to get you different type of gains. For the muscle up we're looking more for strength and explosion than endurance. 
So when you're getting above the 10 marks of reps, you want to actually change your technique and make sure that you're applying the proper technique for a muscle up, which is more range of motion, a false grip position, and also pulling up in the proper direction. And here's also three bonus progression that's gonna help you unlock your muscle up eventually that you can practice in your workout. The first one is gonna be the four assisted muscle up. Make sure to use as less assistance as possible with your feet on the ground and just get used to the pattern of the movement. When you're gonna get stronger, another great way to build strength and also get used to the movement is by practicing negative muscle up. Of course, if you can do a muscle up, getting on top of the bar might be a challenge if you don't know how, but just by learning how to do some normal pullover, you're gonna be able to get all the way up and work your negative as well. Also be aware that the negative muscle up can put a lot of loads on your joint, so go slowly with this one and take it to your own level. And the last progression is the muscle up with the assistance of resistance bands. So you want to track your progress by lowering the amount of assistance on your muscle up. So if you're using a thicker band, you want to eventually get your numbers high to 5 to 10 reps and lower the amount of intensity of your resistance bands and reach that same amount of number so that eventually you can be doing 5 to 10 muscle up with almost zero assistance and get rid of the band and unlock your very first muscle up. That's it for the different muscle up variation. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, drop a quick like. It's really gonna help us reach out to more people. And if you have any other question about the muscle up or any skills you want me to cover in the future, let me know down in the comments. And also make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification for the next upload. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you on the next one.